Hey fellow Earthlings, happy Friday, happy Aloha Friday. Uh, this is a very unplanned video. I'm out here at Hanama Bay in a bit of the wildness and right by the ocean behind me. I'll show you in a moment. And I was just thinking about um, something that I, I've been thinking about it a bit recently, thinking about this, this idea of broadening perspective and recognizing when we're when we're pulled into tunnel vision and um, like too, too narrowed, too focused in the mind uh, in symbolically narrowed vision, uh, a practice that, I, that I've often been implementing when I find myself kind of in the weeds mentally or stressed or holding on to a story or holding on to judgments or like doing what I see as causing myself unnecessary stress. Um, I have a certain practice that I do that I'll share in a minute. And this week's been really like compounded in a good way with all that I'm creating and managing um, with coaching work and boys to men and uh, working with physical clients and um, you know, the other work that I do as well. So I was just decided to give myself an hour out here in the wild to remember my wild nature. Um, there's a quote that I like that I read that was actually about Norse mythology. And it says, when a man is out of touch with nature, he's out of touch with his own true nature. And that is just so true for me. So I'm celebrating this Friday before I dive into my next obligations. And I wanted to share the moment with you. Um, so this practice that I, that I often find myself doing is it's symbolic and energetic and it's in the body. And when I find that I'm sort of like squinting, like my facial expression kind of looks like this and I have these wrinkles here and I'm sort of focusing hard on life. I'll go, okay, well, I need to just like relax my countenance a little bit, relax my face, relax my jaw. And I'll actually bring my arms all the way out so I can feel my chest expand and sort of wakes up my shoulder blades. And I'll bring my hands out here and just wiggle my fingers a bit. And I notice that when my arms are all the way back, I can't see my fingers when I'm in this really narrow view. And I'll take my eyes and expand them out till I can see my fingers. So I'll take my vision and ex invite it out here. And I'll start to be able to see my fingers and I can take in this whole field and I'm literally broadening my perspective, broadening my perception. I feel like it lifts me up and it takes this whole visual field and takes my vision and my, my stress on my face and like my facial expression and everything and I just feel this opening and I swear I feel it through my whole midline from my pelvic floor or first chakra all the way up through my heart through my throat through my face third eye like I swear it's energetic and it's literal and we just need to open up sometimes I just need to open up sometimes and when I can see my fingers kind of wiggling out here I swear like I'm just automatically smiling right now because I love this practice and I love telling this story and I found myself staring at the ocean behind me and just doing this. I was like, you know what, I wanna share this with people because it's another practice of embodiment and uh, getting connected here and how much grounding that in and being literal and symbolic with our practice and our embodiment and our intentions and our focus. Um, it's just refracted throughout the whole, our field, throughout, re ref reflected throughout our bodies, throughout our experience and through our relationships. Um, so I invite you to join me as you watch this to put your phone down and just see what happens when your vision goes from this kind of focus to this kind of focus. Oh, maybe take a few breaths with a big sigh. Oh, oh. And just feeling all the relaxation here that I experience. It's just so lovely and so warming and so expanding. So, I invite you to do that for a couple more moments. <sighs> I'll even turn and enjoy the ocean. <sighs> it's nice to see that reflection of the ocean. I'll show you this as well here. Just end to end. Gorgeous. Ah. 
<sighs> so, you know, I talk a lot about men's embodiment, and I was realizing that I, I want to give a, a more clear picture of how that shows up in my own mind. Um, you know, I think our culture, the world at large, you know, doesn't move enough, and, and that reflects in our all levels of our spiritual self, our physical self, our, our psychological self, our emotional self. And I really think that getting these messages through the body of like expansion and um, moving in a way that's connected to our environment and connected to our intentions for ourself is just really relevant. And it's not just about moving and it's not just about talking about embodiment. It's about actually being um, intentional with your physical practice and your spiritual, energetic, emotional, mental practice and aligning those things in a congruent way so they're mutually supportive of each other. Um, I think that the, the subconscious is really lives largely in the body and when things are not brought to consciousness from the subconscious then they end up spiraling deeper into the body, deeper into our tissues, deeper into our, our postures, deeper into our embodiment, the way that we show up in our body and that can be really expansive and really like just explosively opening or it can be really limiting and, and sort of slowly day by day like growing it caving in on itself so um, I just think it's really important to get out into this wildness out here and this expansiveness and I uh, just wanted to share a little bit of that with you all today so broadening the perspectives relaxing the face <laughs> Life doesn't need to be all that serious, and I'm just reminding myself. <laughs> so, happy Friday. I'm going to head back to our community now and get back into the next thing. So, thanks for joining me. Aloha.